right, so I'll show you the chord progression that goes with this. And we'll start off with the verse. Um, as we play through the verse of this piece, we are going to use the uh, left hand octave of C for the C minor chord. Then we're going to go to E flat, and then B flat, and then F. And it repeats. E flat again, B flat. Second time, we go to A flat. So this is the chord progression for the verse. And what I'm playing in the right hand is just the notes from the chords. So the C minor chord is going to have G, C, and E flat. And this just holds. And then as we move to the E flat, you'll see that I've kept two of my right hand notes the same. I'm playing G and E flat in both of those chords. I'm only changing one note in the middle. So from the beginning, uh, right hand is playing G, C, and E flat. And now my right hand is playing G and E flat with B flat. Now my left hand is going to go to a B flat chord while I play F, B flat, and D. So again, that's F, B flat, and D. Now I'll go to F minor. And then when you're listening to the piece, you'll hear this to take us back around. So the second time through, um, we don't play the F, we skip to the A flat, but something else happens in here, which is a bit interesting, so I'll show you that. Um, you start off the second time through C minor to E flat, and then we do this B octave, B flat, and then coming back to this chord that we played before. So that, from here to there, is um, G, B flat, E flat, and then octave up, hand's actually just going to play E flat, C, B flat. So that takes us from the verse into the pre-chorus. And here are the chords for the pre-chorus. So we've just finished with the A flat. And now for this next section, my left hand is going to play the chord notes F, A flat, E flat, B flat. C, and then I'm also playing A flat and C for the A flat major. So now E flat. I've got three notes now, G, B flat, and E flat, and then on to B flat. Again, same thing. And this time, play this, we're going to play this um, E flat actually over B flat. So coming through, we've got F minor with A flat and C, then A flat with A flat and C. First time, the full chord played over E flat with G, B flat, E flat, then B, F, F, B flat, D. Right hand. 
will have a one note difference between these two chords. So starting from the top here, we'll have for the verse. So the piece plays verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then it does it again, verse, pre-chorus, chorus. And the next section of the piece is a bridge. It's rather interesting the way the bridge is because it changes from chord structure uh, to being a little bit more delicate. So the right hand plays G, C, G, C. It does this repeatedly three times. Doing that, the left hand is going to hold an octave. So we're going to hold this left hand octave on C. Then we're going to change to B in the left. Then to B flat. And then when we get to A, the fourth time, we'll play G, F, E flat, C. So that's with A in the left. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? She sings this over and over again, but it gets gentle. So you can see my left hand is playing A flat and then E flat. A flat and then E flat. And in the right. So I'm playing A flat, C, and E flat, and I'm just varying them. I'm playing these two and this one. Two.
and that's it.